most popular movies this weekend. All right, so we will quickly break this down for you. Uh, here's what people were watching at home, too. We've got all that listed for you, but the top five movies at the box office this weekend, rather slow box mm -hmm. office weekend. Number one, Despicable Me. Uh, it's been out for a couple of weeks, and it made just uh, under $45 million. Uh, coming in at number two, Long Legs. Alicia Woody is in this. It made under $23 million, but that was a sleeper surprise. Inside Out has been out uh, in its fifth week, making just uh, over $20 million a quiet Quiet Place, day one, just under 12 million. And this was the upset of the weekend. They thought this would be number one. Fly Me to the Moon, Channing Tatum, oh. uh, Scarlett Johansson yes. only made about $10 million. That yeah. was definitely a surprise. A lot of great actors in that movie. Now, streaming Netflix had a battle for number one and two domestically. Uh, the Long Game slightly beat out Beverly Hills Cop Axel F with Eddie Murphy, which I, I love. I really want to see that. Oh my gosh, it's your kids would love it, by yes. the way. Um, but The Long Game came in at number one. It's based on the 1955 story and book where five young Mexican-American caddies are determined to learn how to play golf, create their own golf course in the middle I of South that. Texas in the desert. It stars Dennis Quaid, Cheech Marin. So oh many incredible gosh. stars were in this, and it beat out Beverly Hills uh, Cop Axel F, and, and rightfully so. It's a great, great, great movie. I highly recommend it. All right. Cool. Also coming in at number one, Tyler Perry gave Amazon a huge streaming, uh, mm -hmm. huge streaming numbers with Divorce in Black about a woman who is devastated by her husband who abandons their marriage and she's fighting to get him back. You know, she's devastated. She wants her husband back. But then she's uncovering all the reasons why. He left. Wow. He is a very evil, evil man. This is not a funny Tyler Perry movie. There's no Medea in this one. Let oh, me just yeah. tell you, um, it's <laughs> it's a different take it's a for different him. vibe, and yeah. it's pretty serious. But that was um, uh, number one for yeah. for you. He's an incredible song. filmmaker. Yeah. It sounds like there's so much great stuff streaming. There are so many great. But I did. Yeah. We watched Axel. Uh, F and I loved it because I'm I just see that. remember again, they brought back all the music from the the 80s show. Remember, <laughs> and I love Eddie Murphy. I'm so yeah. glad he's back on the scene. I just adore him. All right, I'm gonna talk yes. about. Cat. Do I have time to talk about cats real quick? Because coming up next mm -hmm. weekend, there's gonna be Whiskers uh, Cat Rescue and Aww. Pet Rescue, among along with Foster and Forever and another uh, animal rescue. Uh, we're gonna have a okay. party at. Um, the Cadillac Ranch. Oh, fantastic. So if you're interested and you want to go and support three rescues in one, it's cats. And I know you love cats. Yes. And I, I know have we, a kitty. I His know name's you Taco. He's so cute. Um, and I love <laughs> cats and dogs, too. But this is for great rescues. So follow. Uh, go to Renee Danino uh, or Whiskers Pet Rescue on Facebook or Instagram, and you can get your tickets for the Cadillac Ranch event. Um, I'll be at that. I will not be bringing Wolfgang, you my dog, to that. You will not be bringing him. No, this is a cat event. This is <laughs> Wolfie and cats. He does love cats. Cats do not he like him. Like that's kind of the way it goes. That is kind of the way it goes. <laughs> kind of I had so goes. much fun filling in with you. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun. I love being with my friend Renee. Thank you guys so you much know. for being with us here today.